क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेटेस्ट डू वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ वर्टिकल इनकम स्टेटमेंट वेर ओरिजोंटल प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट इज नॉट गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन वी आर रिक्वायर टू प्रिपेयर वर्टिकल इनकम स्टेटमेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिटेल्स एंड देन वी आर रिक्वायर टू कैलकुलेट रिक्वायर्ड एप्सिल्यूट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज वैल्यूज एंड एप्सिल्यूट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज परसेंटेज दैट इज कंपेरेटिव स्टेटमेंट लेट एस रीड क्वेश्चन from the following information of mahindra limited for the year ended 31st march 2013 and 31st march 2014 you are required to prepare comparative statement after rearranging in vertical form suitable for analysis sales this will be first item of income statement return inwards sales returns less from sales to arrive at figure of net sales opening stock of raw material part of cost of goods sold purchases of raw material cost of goods sold work in progress opening work in progress closing opening will be added closing will be subtracted while calculating cost of goods sold closing stock of raw material this will be deducted while calculating cost of goods sold power will be part of cost of goods sold depreciation on machinery cost of goods sold repairs of factory building cost of goods sold it's a factory expense direct labor part of cost of goods sold selling and distribution expenses will be part of operating expenses finance expenses operating that will be part of operating expenses here clearly they have given finance expenses of operating nature therefore we are required to include this in operating expenses administrative expenses this will be part of operating expenses mahindra limited comparative income statement These two columns are for respective years 2013-2014. This third column is for absolute increase or absolute decrease. The last column is percentage increase and percentage decrease. We have to first start with the sales. Sales 15 lakh 20 thousand, 22 lakh 80 thousand. There are return inwards that is sales returns. We are required to deduct these sales returns to arrive at Net sales, gross sales fifteen lakh twenty thousand minus return inwards twenty thousand. Net sales for two thousand thirteen fifteen lakhs. Net sales for two thousand fourteen twenty two lakh fifty thousand. From this, we are required to deduct cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold relating to material consumed. We have opening stock of raw material, purchases of raw material, closing stock of raw material. Opening stock plus purchases of raw material, it is three lakh ninety seven thousand six hundred and five lakh ninety two thousand six hundred. From this, we are required to deduct closing stock. Closing stock seven thousand six hundred, eleven thousand four hundred. This will have to deduct raw materials consumed three lakh ninety thousand, five lakh eighty one thousand two hundred. To this, we are required to add direct labour. Next, we have to add factory expenses. There we have power, depreciation on machinery, repairs to factory building. We have recorded power, depreciation on machinery, repairs to factory building. We can add them. Total factory expenses: one lakh sixty thousand four hundred, two lakh forty thousand six hundred. To this, we are required to add opening stock of work in progress, and then deduct. Closing stock of work in progress. We can arrive at now cost of goods sold. We have to add material cost plus labor plus factory expenses. Cost of goods sold we got eight lakh nine hundred and eleven lakh ninety two thousand five hundred and fifty. This will be deducted from 
नेट सेल्स टू अराइव एट ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट सिक्स लैक नाइन्टी नाइन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड टेन लैक फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फोर फिफ्टी फ्रॉम दिस वी आर रिक्वायर टू डिडक्ट ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस वी हैव सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपेंसिस फाइनेंस एक्सपेंसिस एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सपेंसिस by adding office selling and finance expenses we got total operating expenses 248900 301600 total operating expenses 248900 301600 this will be deducted from gross profit to arrive at operating net profit we got operating net profit 4250200 7555850 let us find out now absolute increase or decrease in amount between these two years your formula is value in second column minus value in first column if we get positive number it's increase if we get negative number it is decrease like 22 lakh 80000 minus 15 lakh 20000 it is 7 lakh 60000 this is positive figure it indicates increase 30000 minus 20000 increase 22 lakh 50000 minus 15 lakhs 7 lakh 50000 increase here 7600 7600 so there is no increase no decrease purchases of raw material 5 lakh 85000 minus 3 lakh 90000 One lakh ninety-five thousand increase, three thousand eight hundred increase, one ninety-one two hundred increase, one lakh twenty-five thousand two fifty increase, twenty-five thousand two hundred increase, thirty-five thousand increase, twenty thousand increase, eighty thousand two hundred increase. Both the years it's same, eighty thousand two hundred increase. Five thousand increase, seventy five thousand two hundred increase, three lakh ninety one six fifty increase, three fifty eight three fifty increase, fifty two seven hundred increase, fifty two seven hundred increase, three lakh five thousand six hundred fifty increase. Now we are required to complete last column. Percentage increase or decrease. Simple formula is amount in third column divided by amount in first column multiplied by hundred. For example, gross sales increase is seven lakh sixty thousand divided by sales of two thousand thirteen fifteen lakh twenty thousand multiplied by hundred. It is fifty percent. Ten thousand. Divided by twenty thousand, multiplied by hundred, is fifty percent. Net sales seven lakh fifty thousand divided by fifteen lakhs, multiplied by hundred, fifty percent. Opening stock here there will be no percentage increase decrease indicated because both the years figures are same. Purchase of raw material one lakh ninety five thousand increase. Divided by three lakh ninety thousand, multiplied by hundred, fifty percent. Raw material consumed one ninety one two hundred divided by three lakh ninety thousand, multiplied by hundred. So in case of factory expenses, we are getting fifty percent, fifty percent, fifty percent, and fifty percent. Opening work in progress. Both the years it's same. Closing we got fifty percent. Cost of goods sold forty eight point nine zero percent. Gross profit fifty one point two six percent, total operating expenses twenty one point one seven percent, operating net profit finally we got sixty seven point eight nine percentage increase. In this question, we have prepared vertical comparative income statement with the help of details given in the question, where. horizontal income statement was not given thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to our channel ikeda thank you